number four, mortgage consent. I hope it's uh, everyone in this room is, uh, if, if, obviously if you've got a property and you've got a buy-to-let mortgage, I hope you're all fine and you've, you've done the necessaries. Obviously most of you will have a buy-to-let mortgage from the outset, so it'll be absolutely fine. This is really more aimed at people that uh, maybe are living in their property at the moment on a residential. Just to remind, always got to get consent to let, just to make sure that we don't get called out further down the line. And uh, obviously you want to prevent an ugly situation for both landlord and tenant, okay? Um, so you must obtain consent. Um, not all lenders will, uh, will, will, let you, will let you do it on a residential. It depends on who you're with. Some of them might charge an admin fee. Some of them, most of them will specify you've got to at least have lived there for six months before you can obtain consent to let. Obviously, they're just trying to make sure that you didn't try and uh, cheat the system and buy with a smaller deposit and with the intention of letting it out from day one. So uh, as, long as, as long as we're doing everything right, shouldn't have a problem at all.